Hey everyone, good afternoon preschool class. Welcome to a little section I like to call, will it float or will it sink and why? You all are an amazing preschool class and I've got a little activity here. I wish I was doing it with you in person, but uh, here you go. Uh, parents, we're gonna look at a number of different objects here. I've got D-rings, we've got some objects I found in nature, things I found around the house. And we want to ask the children the questions, do you think this will float? Do you think it will sink? And why? Uh, we want to get them in the habit of making predictions and then conducting experiments to test their predictions. Uh, you may want to have them go through all the objects at the beginning. They could divide it into something like this. Will it float? Will it sink? Uh, here's the D-ring. Uh, what do you think? Will this float? Will it sink? Why? What makes you think that? They may talk about the size, they may talk about the material composition, they may talk about the weight, they may talk about the relative size of two different objects. They're both metal, one's larger than the other one. Uh, it's, it's not important at the preschool level how scientifically accurate their explanations are, of course. It's just uh, that they're thinking about it, that they're practicing, expressing what they think will happen. Uh, the whole nut, just a component, is there anything about the shape that they think might make it float or sink? What about just the core, just the nut itself? Um, I'm, I will go through them fairly quickly because it's on uh, the video. You may, if you want to use these, you can pause it and ask them or you can uh, get the same objects and, uh, and try it out for yourself. A uh, simple two liter bottle here for my float and sink. And what do you think, boys and girls? A screw, will it float or will it sink and why? And item number two, a screwdriver. Will it float or will it sink? Steel shaft, but some other uh, composite plasticky handle substance. What do you think? Will it float or will it sink? Hmm, how about a grape? A grape, will it float or will it sink? Hmm, what about this pencil sharpener? Pencil sharpener has two materials consists of two different types of materials. It's got holes in it. What do you think? Will it float or will it sink? Oh, made a nice little, uh, nice little popping sound there as it hit. I'm gonna retrieve that. We'll get, you can stick your hand in there if you want. I'm using the, the tongs. Um, so I wonder on this one, will it make a difference? I dropped it in the first time, I wonder as it's got a little hollow section here. I wonder what would happen if I set it gently down. Will that make a difference? What's your prediction? Will it float or will it sink? Hmm. What about this, uh, oh, my four leaf clover is wilting. So this will be a double science experiment. Will it float or will it sink? And what happens when you take a wilted flower or clover and set it in water and leave it in there for a little while. Uh, that one, let's see. There you are, you can see it floating and sinking. Uh, the piece of the nut, the whole nut. Just the shell. And just the core. Hmm, all three, what about an avocado. What if I put the avocado in? Will it float or will it sink? Hmm, whoa. I noticed something here. The avocado is displacing enough water that uh, I can actually see the level of the water change when I put the avocado in. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, remove some of these nut pieces, make a little bit of room. And then I'm gonna take a pen and I'm gonna mark the water level right here. Is that enough? Current water level, 
Now let's take the avocado. Will it float or will it sink? And why? I'm gonna drop it in. Hmm. And notice what happened to the level of the water as I dropped the avocado into the water. Uh, Nerf dart, what's your prediction? Hmm. And last but not least, trusty D-ring. Huh. All right, there you have it, boys and girls. So uh, feel free, play around, make your own, talk about why. Why do they think different objects will float or sink? They might compare sizes, compare material composition. They might talk about the color. Uh, they might enjoy sorting them before they experiment, or they might want to talk about each one and experiment item by item. Uh, anyway, just a simple little activity. Get them thinking about some science. And uh, as always, wish I were with you guys today. I'll see you next time. Bye.